The No Fay channel checking in, and I am getting just a little bit of free time without my wife and son. So I'm taking advantage of that to do two of my favorite activities, drinking beer and indoor rock climbing. Full disclosure, I am shooting this introduction a day in advance. Tomorrow I'm getting just a little bit of free time and I don't want to waste a moment of it. It's not often that I get free time and don't have a home project or chore that is in dire need of tackling. So tomorrow I'm heading down to Everett, Massachusetts to do some indoor rock climbing at Metro Rock. I've been going to Metro Rock for over 10 years. The first time I went was with my girlfriend. We wanted a different type of date activity, something outside of our comfort zone. We had no idea what we were getting into, but we loved it. Well, flash forward 10 years later, I'm now married to that girlfriend and I've been going back to Metro Rock about two to three times a year. And every time we have fun and we have a blast. Also over those 10 years, Metro Rock has continued to grow and expand. They obviously have bouldering, top rope and lead climbing, but they've also added self belay stations, which are great if you go alone a lot like I do, or if you've never passed a belay test. They also added a high ropes course and they have cardio equipment, free weights, and a ton of Ninja Warrior style um, handholds if you're into training for Ninja Warrior or for obstacle course races. Metro Rock is a fun activity for kids, friends, and of course, first dates. The area around Metro Rock has completely expanded and is now known as the Fermentation District. There are two breweries, Night Shift Brewery and Bone Up Brewery, and one distillery, Short Path Distillery. All of these are within two walking blocks of Metro Rock. Tomorrow after rock climbing, I'm hoping to sneak into Bone Up Brewery. I have watched them grow and expand since they opened nearly two years ago, and they have done nothing but deliver great tasting beer and a comfortable atmosphere.
Maybe it was the beer or maybe it was the full belly from the Chipotle burrito bowl that I simply devoured, but I forgot to shoot an outro. That's okay, I had a blast. Something about rock climbing makes beer taste that much better. I hadn't been to Bone Up Brewery in at least four months and they had a number of new items on the board that I was dying to sample. So I had a blast there. As usual, they had the front door open, the breeze coming in. It was just a really fun experience and really relaxing. If you live around or you're coming to the Boston area, I highly recommend coming to Metro Rock for indoor rock climbing and staying for the fermentation district, especially Bone Up Brewery. It's such a great experience when they open up those front doors and you get that breeze coming in. Uh, I, I can't say enough things about it. As a dad, I don't get much free time that isn't already slotted for chores and responsibilities and household projects. When I get free time that I can call my own, I try to hit it out of the park and not waste a second of it. And I'm sure you dads are doing the same thing when you get free time. I need to know from you dads in the comments below, which breweries do I need to check out? Which breweries are so special they are worth my precious free time? Let me know in the comments below. If you've come this far in the video, then definitely hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. Note to self, film your outro before you start drinking. The No Fate channel is dedicated to providing you with ideas on how to improve your community. Your community at home, your community in your neighborhood, and your community in your town. I'll also be giving you insight into this dad's tricks, trips, and tribulations.